Hi everybody, this is Annette, your equine photographer. And today I want to show you a before and after edit and take you through my workflow of what I do when I edit my photos after a shoot. Um, so let's get started. So here we have Sam and Sam. Sam is a uh, chestnut Arabian and the little girl's name is Sam as well. She's taking regularly uh, lessons with him. So when I took the photos, I was kind of hiding behind the tree so she wouldn't really focus on me. And uh, the reason I picked this photo is because you can really see how I, uh, Sam, who is a chestnut, needs to be corrected the color. Obviously, Sam doesn't look as red as he is here in this photo, but the camera for some reason picks up all the red in him. So this needs to be corrected as well as her skin tone because if you zoom in you can see how pink her skin is because it just reflects off of him. So let's get started. Uh, for me the very first thing is that I check is the focus. The photo has to be 110% sharp for me and in focus otherwise I don't even bother to edit them because uh, it will turn out blurry and uh, that's just not my style. I need very sharp photos to work in because I usually zoom in or crop the photo. So yeah, so they look good to me. The very next thing I do is uh, I crop the photo. Um, I do like to draw attention to her looking at him. I don't like the feet or the legs really necessarily. So um, for me, it's important that I do uh, draw the your eyes, the client's eyes, towards her and Sam. It just kind of intensifies the relationship and the connection. So this kind of looks good to me. Uh, I do crop it first so I don't work on the photos uh, outer edges that I actually don't even use. So I crop first. So I kind of put them right here. That's how I like it. You can still see the hand, the connection with the rain going to Sam. She's looking at him. I'm going to leave here a little bit room because he, uh, they are walking towards me. So if you now crop it, it looks really nice. Um, and it draws more attention to her looking at him. So the next thing we want to do is um, color correct Sam. As I said, he's a chestnut and he's obviously not as red. So um, I do use two editing software programs. I use Lightroom as well as Photoshop. In Lightroom, I can make basic editings and color changes. However, I do use Photoshop if I need some more details done. Um, I do like the light. I think I bumped up the exposure already, made some minor changes. Um, so the next thing I would do is I would um, fix the color. You know, I slide down a little bit the red saturation, a little bit orange, little red, sorry, red, orange, yellow, and then the luminance I bump up to offset it. So even after all these changes, he's still quite red for me. So I will use Photoshop. So I move the photo into Photoshop to make some more detailed uh, color corrections within the color red. And you can't do this in uh, Lightroom. So within Photoshop, there's a really cool tool. It's called Selective Color. So I can actually select a particular color and edit just this color. So in Sam's case, in the horse's case, it is red. So I choose red. And now I can manipulate only the red color in this photo. Uh, so I'll take out a little bit the magenta because magenta is red. Uh, the Zion is uh, a color between green and blue. And then I also can adjust the yellow. And you can see already how much that changed. That's those two few little sliders. Just in case you're interested in that, how the color scheme works, this always kind of gives me an idea. Within each color, within red, you have yellow, magenta, and Zion. And the same in green. So every time you adjust just one single color, you have sliders, you have different sliders that affect the, the one main color. So in this case, it's red. And within red, you have Zion, Magenta, and Yellow. So you can see already the difference. I showed you a little before. So that was the before. Totally, it just looks totally unnatural to me. 
and this is the after and that is much closer to what sim in real life looks like um, and this also helped tremendously already with the skin tone of sam you see how the red and pink is gone so i'm just going to zoom in so this is the before and this is the after so her skin tone adjusted at the same time so i don't really have to make much more adjustments to this so the color is fixed now i'm looking at other things that kind of bother me in the photo like i might take out this little tiny knob here from the tree uh, my eyes are kind of drawn to the blue bucket here and the halter. So I'm just going to work on these quick and fix those. Kind of give you an idea what I do. I'm uh, just taking out things that are kind of in the way. This green kind of bothers me. So right now I'm just doing a cloning tool that kind of um, takes out things that I don't want to be there, make it look more, the background more uniformed. Uh, this I'm probably gonna crop out anyway, so I'm just gonna go over with that. So that's pretty much it. Other than that, I do like the photo. Uh, Sam and Sam, they look uh, pretty clean and sharp to me. Uh, there's not much other things I would change. So I will save it back into uh, Lightroom. And uh, all we have left to do now are just minor adjustments, such as his winter coat. Um, it looks a little choppy to me, so what I like to do is I turn down the clarity slightly to make his coat look a little smoother, like this, a little bit softer looking, the overall image. I will crop the photo a little bit more. Uh, this one bothers me a little bit, and um, the back, uh, I think I can crop it a little bit more without losing any uh, focus or attention of the main objects like this. Okay, I think that's perfect. The one thing you want to pay attention to is you don't want to chop off images right at people's uh, joints. That looks in general very... Uh, uh, not stupid, but uh, it just looks really weird. If I would chop off Sam's, if I like would crop the photo right here on his legs. Plus, I want to uh, keep the hands included with the reins. So that's kind of important to me. But overall, now the background looks nice and uh, overall um, clean and finished. It has a better finished look without the buckets here. So for me, that's a nice photo. I will add a little bit of vignette to it to um, even draw a little bit more attention to the objects just like slightly like this and boom voila there's your final image so i'll show you the before again and put them side by side uh, i think that was it where it is there it is so here you see before and after and you'll see a huge change uh, in the color, but just with a few adjustments. So that is my uh, workflow in this particular photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment, feel free. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and you'll hear from me very soon. Bye.